I'm David Tillman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how to deal with a leaky blood brain barrier with nootropics. We'll go over what a leaky blood brain barrier is, the causes of a leaky brain, symptoms or signs that you may have a leaky brain, and which nootropic supplements help support a leaky blood brain barrier. Most of us are aware of leaky gut syndrome. It's long been associated with celiac disease and Crohn's disease. It, an increased interest in gluten sensitivity has led to food labels featuring gluten-free and gluten-free products in nearly every category of food you can think of in our supermarkets. This is a bigger deal than what most people think. The National Institute of Health in the, here in the U.S. reports that close to 20% of Americans suffer from a diagnosable mental disorder. And serious mental illness causes $193 billion in lost earnings each year. The same report says that depression and anxiety disorders cost the global economy $1 trillion in lost productivity each year. And depression is a leading cause of disability worldwide. Now, the thing is, even if you can name the diagnosable mental health disorder, doctors often don't know the cause. So you end up with a prescription for some med that doesn't work, or it works, but you've got side effects that are horrendous. It turns out that the cause may be a leaky blood-brain barrier. And if you have a leaky gut, chances are high that you're dealing with a leaky brain too. In this video, you're going to learn some natural options for healing a leaky brain. Your brain is protected by a 7 millimeter thick skull and is surrounded by cerebral spinal fluid along with a protective membrane called the meninges. This is your primary defense against physical injury like a whack on the head. Now your next layer of brain defense is your blood-brain barrier. This is the barrier between your brain's blood vessels or capillaries and brain cells and other tissues that make up your brain. Its purpose is to tightly regulate the movement of ions, neurotransmitters, and other molecules between your general blood supply and your brain. This precise control of your brain transports oxygen and nutrients to brain tissues while removing carbon dioxide and other waste. It also promotes normal hormone and neurotransmitter signaling and maintains the control of the interactions between your brain and the rest of your body. This allows optimal brain function while protecting your brain tissues from toxins, pathogens, and other nasty stuff circulating in your general blood supply. Endothelial cells line the interior of all your blood vessels. But in your brain, the endothelial cells lining the inside of capillaries are held tightly and sealed together by tight junctions. That's, that's what they're called, tight junctions. Tight junctions are made up of a network of clodins and cytoplasmic proteins, but your blood-brain barrier is not just surrounding and encasing your brain in a protective layer. This network of capillaries goes throughout your brain, and no brain cell is ever further than 25 micrometers from a capillary. The thing is, your blood-brain barrier is more than just a firewall protecting your brain. Capillaries in select brain regions facilitate the passage of glucose and amino acids across your blood-brain barrier via carriers specific to that molecule. Now, this highly dynamic layer of cells works with transporters that allow oxygen, certain cytokines, hormones, and some neurotransmitters that your brain requires to function. The bottom line is a healthy blood-brain barrier is the last line of defense keeping bad things out of your brain and allowing the good stuff in. But a leaky blood-brain barrier, just like a leaky gut, can lead to a whole host of problems. Now, I've written about the causes of brain fog, memory loss, chronic fatigue, anxiety, and de depression, and each of these can often be corrected by nootropic supplements. But if you've tried my suggested nootropic stacks in the past, and each of these issues and nothing has worked, it could be a leaky blood-brain barrier. Because clinical studies show that a leaky blood-brain barrier can be the cause of brain fog, cognitive dysfunction, chronic fatigue, anxiety, and depression. And if you're dealing with a leaky gut, chances are you're suffering from a leaky blood-brain barrier as well. A classic example of this is celiac disease. If you're dealing with celiac disease, chances are that you're also suffering from seizures, headaches, cognitive impairment, or other psychiatric disease. 
Now, I've touched in the past on leaky gut syndrome when writing about psychobiotics and your gut-brain connection. Recent research shows that a leaky gut is often associated with a leaky brain. Elevated antibodies. The proteins Claudin, Occludin, and ZO1, ZO2, and ZO3 proteins are all required for the, tight, the integrity of the tight junctions in your brain barrier lining and a healthy blood-brain barrier. Now, problems start with elevated antibodies against Occludin and Zonulin, which often leads to leaky brain syndrome. Lab work can, can determine if you have elevated levels of antibodies against Occludin and Zonulin, and blood tests can measure antibodies against these two proteins. Because it's, if left unchecked, the tight junctions that seal your gut and blood-brain barrier are compromised, resulting in brain and gut permeability. Inflammation. Research also shows that microRNAs, now specifically microRNA-155, are key regulators in inflammation and blood-brain barrier permeability. When inflammation goes up, your blood-brain barrier breaks down and lets nasty stuff into your brain, resulting in damaged neurons and a self-propelling cycle of neuron death. This area of neuroscience has come to be known as the cytokine model of cognitive function. Elevated pro-inflammatory cytokines often results in brain inflammation, which can lead to anxiety, depression, brain fog, and other autoimmune brain problems. Now, there is even a cytokine hypothesis of depression. The bottom line is inflammation can be the cause of your anxiety, depression, brain fog, and some other, or some other cognitive issue. If you tried nootropics or meds and have not experienced any relief, it could be inflammation and leaky blood-brain barrier that is causing your symptoms. Homocysteine. Homocysteine levels, high homocysteine levels, have been linked to a damaged blood-brain barrier. Get your homocysteine levels checked the next time you get your labs done. Blood sugar. High blood sugar is also a risk factor for developing a leaky blood-brain barrier. Get your labs done for fasting blood sugar and high HGBAC1 to find out if your blood sugars are too high. Bacterial overgrowth. Now we've touched on the gut-brain axis earlier, and with these two linked, it makes sense that a bacterial imbalance and candida overgrowth in your gut can result in cognition problems and even depression or anxiety. When candida goes out of control, it creates a layer in your intestines, which suppresses the production of neurotransmitters like serotonin. Now, antibiotics are often prescribed to treat candida overgrowth and other bacterial infections, which often leads to yeast overgrowth. And if you find that candida is out of control, your first option is to eliminate sugar of all forms, including desserts, candy, alcohol, and flour, and cut back on refined grains, beans, bread, pasta, white potatoes, and fermented foods. If you're dealing with a leaky blood-brain barrier, nootropics can help tame inflammation and restore the integrity of the tight junctions needed for a healthy blood-brain barrier. Now, the following nootropic supplements have been clinically proven to help tame inflammation and heal a leaky blood-brain barrier. And you can safely use all of the nootropics I'm going to detail below in a single nootropic stack at the recommended dosages. Berberine. Berberine is a bright yellow alkaloid extracted from plants such as the Indian barberry or tree turmeric, Oregon grape, and golden seal. As a nootropic, Berberine increases choline activity, it restores BDNF and CM response element binding protein and microRNA expression in your hippocampus. Berberine also decreases pro-inflammatory cytokines like interleukin-1b, tumor necrosis factor A, and cytooxygenase 2 microRNA in the hippocampus. Studies show that berberine can also reduce the permeability of a leaky blood-brain barrier, primarily by reducing inflammation. Caffeine. Caffeine is an adenosine antagonist, which influences acetylcholine, epinephrine, serotonin, and boosts, boosts the use of dopamine, providing the stimulant effect you get when consuming caffeine. Caffeine also provides a protective effect when boosting gene expression of BDNF. 
Now, studies show that caffeine blocks increase in IG, um, IgG and fibrinogen and decreases in tight junction proteins, increases in astrocytes activation and microglia density where IgG leakage was present, protecting the integrity of the blood-brain barrier. Curcumin. Curcumin is the primary active compound on turmeric, and research shows curcumin boosts neurogenesis. More neurons means better learning, memory, and mood. Curcumin is also a potent antioxidant and helps protect your brain from inflammation. A study at China Medical University found that curcumin helps prevent disruption of the blood-brain barrier after a stroke. Researchers found that curcumin restored the expression of oxalidin ZO1 proteins, which in turn restored the barrier function of the blood-brain barrier. DHA. DHA is an omega-3 fatty acid, which makes up much of the gray matter in your brain. Your brain is about 60% fat, and much of that fat is DHA. It is a critical part of healthy and fluid brain cell membranes. DHA can boost brain-derived nootropic factor, or BDNF. It can regulate calcium oscillations, which are involved in neurotransmitter release. It can boost mitochondrial function, gene activation, oxidative stress, and reduce inflammatory COX-2 enzymes. Research also shows that DHA can reduce the blood-brain barrier damage after a stroke, after traumatic brain injury, and help repair a leaky brain in MS patients. L-glutamine. L-glutamine is an essential amino acid and precursor for the synthesis of glutamate. Now, we use L-glutamine to treat a leaky blood-brain barrier because it boosts your body's immune response. It increases antibodies to fight against viruses and harmful bacteria. L-glutamine also helps tame inflammatory cytokines, which can be harmful to tight junctions needed to keep your blood-brain barrier healthy. And it detoxes your brain from excess ammonia by converting it into other amino acids, sugars, and urea. Magnesium. Magnesium deficiency is nearly epidemic in our society because it is sorely lacking in our food supply. The thing is, magnesium is the fourth most abundant mineral in your body and is a cofactor in more than six, 600 enzymatic reactions. Now, you need magnesium to produce ATP, which is your primary source of energy. Magnesium is required for the synthesis of RNA and DNA and regulates ion channels which govern the flow of neurotransmitters. One animal study showed magnesium reduced blood-brain barrier permeability caused by sepsis. Another study showed magnesium supplementation reduced blood-brain barrier permeability caused by high blood pressure. And yet another study showed magnesium prevented blood-brain barrier breakdown after traumatic brain injury. Resveratrol. Resveratrol is a naturally derived polyphenol antioxidant used to protect your brain from oxidative stress. It increases cerebral blood flow, it boosts BDNF, it protects mitochondria, and prevents the release of toxic glutamate during a stroke. One study had 19 Alzheimer's patients take 1,000 milligrams of resveratrol daily for one year. The study found reduced MMP9 levels in the cerebral spinal fluid by 50%. This MMP9 decrease when CERT1 is activated. High levels of MMP9 weaken the tight junction of the blood-brain barrier. Conversely, low levels of MMP9 help maintain a healthy blood-brain barrier. Another study showed resveratrol decreased nuclear cap factor kappa B and the increased Claudin-5, which strengthened the integrity of tight junctions in the blood-brain barrier. Vitamin D3. Vitamin D3, the sunshine vitamin, as a nootropic supplement is critical for optimal cognitive health. It's an integral part of neurotransmitter synthesis, gene expression, DNA maintenance and repair, and the forms of neuroplasticity needed for memory formation and retrieval. And vitamin deficiency is an undeclared worldwide pandemic affecting nearly 50% of the population of this planet. Research shows that vitamin D helps maintain blood-brain barrier integrity by blocking the increased production of reactive oxygen species and nuclear factor kappa B activation and increases levels of the tight junction proteins, oxalidin, clodin-5, and ZO1. 
And another animal study showed vitamin D supplementation reduced blood-brain barrier permeability. B-complex. Several of the B vitamins have been clinically shown to help prevent a leaky brain and support the blood-brain barrier. Vitamin B1 or thiamine is a required cofactor in the synthesis of acetylcholine. It's part of the Krebs cycle that produces ATP. It's needed in the synthesis of myelin to protect your neurons. It helps maintain optimal levels of glutamate and GABA. Thiamine deficiency can be caused by alcoholism, Alzheimer's disease, anemia, athletes who reduce food intake, cancer, clogged arteries, Crohn's disease, diabetes, diarrhea, gastric bypass surgery, consuming large amounts of coffee and tea, and kidney disease, and even a poor diet. Severe thiamine deficiency causes damage to the integrity of the blood-brain barrier, which can be quickly reversed with one week of thiamine supplementation. Vitamins B6, B9, and B12 work together to keep homocysteine levels in check. Homocysteine is an, infl is an inflammatory compound and when levels are excessively high, can break the integrity of the blood-brain barrier. Studies show that supplementing with B6, B9, and B12 will bring homocysteine levels down to normal levels and restore the integrity of the blood-brain barrier. Now we've defined what the blood-brain barrier is and why it's so critical to your overall cognitive health, and looked at the causes of a leaky blood-brain barrier and how to fix it. Well, we also discovered that if you've got a leaky gut, chances are your brain is leaky too. And if you fix one, you'll make great strides in fixing the other. Now, all of the nootropics I detailed earlier can be used daily as a single nootropic stack if you're dealing with a leaky brain. Just follow the dosage recommendations and you should be fine. And if this is your first time using any of the supplements that I talked about in this video, start with one at a time. Use it for just a day or two. And if you don't experience any problems, add the next one on the list, etc., until you get through your entire list. That's the only way you're going to isolate something if something does go haywire on you. Heal your leaky brain naturally and watch the symptoms of brain fog, memory loss, chronic fatigue, anxiety, and depression get less and less over time. And that's my report on nootropics for a leaky blood-brain barrier. If you want to see links to the full review of each nootropic I talked about, click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video. You'll also find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics used today on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share what you think are better choices for a leaky blood-brain barrier, please use the comment section below this video or at the bottom of the post over on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. And if you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain over on Nootropics Expert. And while you're there, get a copy of my book, Head First, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements. It's nearly 600 pages. It's like a manual for your brain. I also offer personal consultations. If you think you could use one more one-on-one -on -one help, Links to my booking page are below this video. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.